morning, good morning. Wagwan, how is everything? So today, we're here, we're just gonna start our stonework right now. We already finished the sidewall, let me flip the camera and show you guys. So we already finished our sidewall right now. As you see here, we finished our sidewall. We're just lining up right now to, to do our stone. We finished the sidewall, we finished the back. And now we're gonna start with the stone. Let's dive into the video. Enjoy. So guys, we're gonna put our weed in the set up our weaving plastic we finish set up our, our paper next thing we want to do before we start to lay our stone or we want to work to reach right up to the top of this garage door here is where the garage door is going to be what you want to do you want to measure your stone you want to measure the biggest size which my biggest size stone here is 11 and a quarter right. If you had a, a, a medium, this is a medium, this is a small. It's 11 and a quarter, the same size as the big one. So the reason for that, we want to measure from the biggest one, which is 11 and a quarter. We want to take our measurement from the top. And we want to keep mark 11 and a quarter, right until we reach down to the bottom. That way we know, we know whether or not if we need to have a cut. We're going to put our cut down at the bottom there. And it tells us as well, the size joint that we need to work in order to get up here. So let's measure 11 and a quarter start from the top. Eleven and a quarter would be here plus our joint. And then we're gonna go with another eleven and a quarter. And we're gonna keep repeating the same process, go right until we reach down to our foundation ledge. So basically you're gonna just go 12. 12 is good or 11, 7, 8, somewhere there. We want to try and work for like a half an inch joint. Not just for the reasonable joint. We're just going to keep on, go right down until we reach down to the bottom. So here, this is a 6 and a quarter. So right now it's telling me that I have to cut in order to get up there. Or I have to, so I'm gonna measure the size of my medium stone. My medium stone is seven inches. So here is seven inches. If I had to go seven inches, I can get up there, but we have to work with a, a, a less um, tighter joint than half an inch. Okay, seven inches is where the joint is fall, as you see right here. So we, we could get away with this. All we have to do is go tighter than half an inch. Still will look nice. So here it's, it, we're perfect. So we just gotta try and match these marks as we go so that we reach right up to the top of our garage there. We wanna work to reach right across so we could put our angle line. Keep watching, you'll see what I mean later on. So we're finished with our joint. We already mark out where we want our stone to be. So we're gonna start to lay. Being as we have a, a wall here, we want our stone to go straight onto the wall. We want to run our level like so. Make sure the, the, the stone itself lines up nicely in, uh, with this side. So you want to run your level perpendicular on the wall just like this. So that we have a straight line go that way.
guys we're gonna run our line right along the corner here. set up which is our 45 nail we're gonna put our nail right now put it right in the corner run it from gonna run it from the top go all come all the way down I'm gonna show you a trick how to know where to put your nail. You want to make your corner. Here it says six inches. When you go up top, you put six inches. You'll see what I mean in a second. Six inches right here from the corner. So as you see here, I finish, I finish run my, um, I finish put up my 45 nail. As you see, you want to run your level just like so. Make sure it's run parallel with the wall. It's supposed to sit perfect, just like this. Earlier I said to you guys, you want to measure six inches. So once you put it there, you don't have to do a lot of moving. So that's my uh, my 45 nail. Come all the way down. So now we're gonna put all of our the corner of our stone. We're gonna gonna flush right here with our uh, with the line. Okay, guys, let's let's continue on. And right across where uh, on, the, on the other side of the garage, you want to put uh, a, a big nail and measure four and, a, and three quarter over there and run your line. That way you have this side straight with that side because later on the wall is going to go right across, right above the garage. You see what I mean in a second. Okay, earlier I was explaining to you guys what you want to do first you want to measure here from the back of the wall you have four and three quarter now we want to go right across over here you want to put a 45 nail as you see I put a 45 nail here and you want to measure 
you want to get the same four and three quarter over here i just see i have it right there reason for that we want to have reason for that we want to have our wall line up go right across we want to have that side line up with this side straight because after we go above the garage as you see we're gonna have a straight wall running right across so once you get the same the same measurement when you get up there you're gonna have a straight wall go go across like that so don't forget to do that guys i forget to find it out earlier so i, I just i'm um, showing you guys now we need to do that so this is where we are right now quite away i'm almost uh, half an hour into it So guys, once you run our line across like this, you want to make sure you, you push your fingers just like this to get the cavity, to maintain the same cavity. Reason for that is we're not going to plumb the face of the, our stone because as you see here, it's not a level surface. So we're going to use this to plumb the wall to maintain the same cavity, work our way, go up. So this way, when we, when, once we, we do this here and here, the same thing. And we're going to just continue our way up. small here we have a medium now we have two tracks we could either go with a big or a small here i'm gonna go with a big one now being as i already have down here a small a medium and i already have a small here so now it's calling for a big one here stone you can always try to match your previous joint like you see here I match this one with this one this way the line looks nice go all the way down so guys another thing you want to check for whenever you're doing stone work you want to check your skip to make sure you use the stone according to how they brought them in my case they brought three case three skid of big and two small so on this job i'm gonna have to use way more big than small and medium so this is the big one and this guy here is the medium and this one is the small so you have to check your skid make sure you're using them accordingly and if you have color in my case i have two different color i have a, a, a black light black and then I have this one here which is a, which is a concrete color so you want to check to see the color the different color that you had and check to see the, the mixture so I'm gonna have to use lots of big ones in this one so 
guys, as you see up up top here, I have my mop. We're working to reach this mop here. So gradually we're gonna get there. You just have your mop here to check every now and again to make sure. Guys, we're gonna go for coffee. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Guys, like I always do, I always do my joint, redo it, and then later on, we're gonna go back over it and do the wire brush. So, we're doing a red joint here.